Okay, so we got a 1960 camper. We rescued this out of a barn where it had been stored indoors since I think about the early 80s. And uh, that's when that person bought it. And I don't even know that they ever drove it. So it's really, you know, for the most part, it's really rust free. It does have a little rust under the front floorboards and you'll see those in the photo. There's no rot. It's actually super solid. I think it'll be a great bus to restore. So we're checking out the nose here. It's got a little bit of push in down in this area, you can see. So it's uh, the nose is certainly usable and fixable. Um, the doors are doors really nice and straight. This area is great. Um, the lower panel here is totally solid. There's no rust, but there is a ding right here. I don't know if you can see that kind of a crease that runs along there. So that'll need some attention. Um, coming around the back, the quarters are really solid. I've got some inner shots of it so you can see that it, it's just uh, original good quarters. Uh, we have an, the correct apron is on the car now. We are missing the hardware here for the hatch and I don't know if we have the key. If we do, we'll certainly include it. Uh, it didn't have the tail lights on when we got it so we put a new, new set of those on. Um, coming around the other side of the quarter, quarter's pretty straight. I think there might be a little filler in here but nothing severe. It's got a little bit, it had some Bondo in here it looks like. You can see where there's some separation in here. And uh, so I think this this quarter, you know, depending on what you're going to do, you could replace that or you could dig it all out and see what you got to work with. There is a little bit of rust here. I take that back. Really minor surface stuff. No, no rock going through. Going to need a little attention down here. But given its age and all, not bad. We put a good set of tires on the bus, and uh, you know, it's just in nice shape. New gas cap. Uh, we have some new louver windows we can throw in there too. These are kind of bubbly, but it's kind of fun because they're sort of patinaed, and that's all cool. Then uh, coming down here, a little bit of a dent down in this area that you can see. And uh, oh, I'm finding a little rust, so there you go. Surface bubbling right there. Come around, look at the lower nose. Pretty nice. I don't think you have any real rust issues to speak of here. Just a little bit of surface stuff coming up down here, you can see. Um, so that's it for the exterior. The roof is actually pretty straight. Let's see if we can climb up here and show you the roof. It's in good shape. The car's got actually a pretty cool patina to it. I mean, I'm sure if you buy this, you're going to want to restore it, but the patina is pretty cool. It kind of says somebody put uh, 1960 right here. So we just kind of left all that. Anyway, getting around to the interior, this door panel's totally shot. And the rust I was talking about in the floorboards is to the sides, it's not to the center. You can just kind of see a little bit down there, so I'm sure whoever gets it will want to address that. This driver's seat is pretty shot. It's all there though, the springs are good. Needs to be recovered, has seat belts. Original German Volkswagen seat belts, and there's the uh, the power supply to the camper, and there's one of the outlets. I don't know if there's another one. Um, dash is nice, super uncut, really clean dash. The uh, blinkers actually work. They turn on and off. The wipers turn on. They're kind of slow, but they work. Um, the uh, headlights work, and it shifts nice, and it runs really well. We just put a an engine in it that's been gone through, so it's super drivable. Go around to the other side. I'll show you the other front side of the front of the car with all my crud in here camera bag <laughs> okay and there's the floors on this side you can see that towards the center they're fine it's just these outer areas where it's uh they're kind of holy okay and there's the original panel on the nose and little dash shottage from here the original headliner is in it it's a little screwed up up here you can tell it's warped but it's pretty amazing that it's in there it's super cool and then you'll see photo shots of the number plate back here that I took. Super solid under the seats. That's all good. And uh, moving on to the back. And in the back, it's just super original. I mean, the woods all could be refinished, I think. You have to make that judgment call. It's not bad. And hinges are there and the doors and the closet. And there's a table in here with the brackets. The Michael sparkly tabletop. A couple of screens. And uh, I guess those are like a magazine rack or something. 
I don't know what the KK means back here. Maybe one of you experts will know. You can tell me. But, uh, you know, it's nice. It just hasn't really suffered any water damage on the interior, which is kind of ultra cool. So we'll just shut these doors. Doors shut nicely, too. And coming around to the back... Oh, I have to use a screwdriver to open this because I don't have the... Uh, oh, I guess I need one on here, too. Okay. Well, anyway, I will go get those. Hang on. Okay, the turn of the screwdriver, I can open up the back. And there it is. Here's the closets. Looking good. Shelves are in it. Solid in there. This uh, overall just looks pretty good. Good bus to restore. Now, let's see, this one ought to open this. There we go. Okay, so there's the engine. And I'll get you some video of it running here, too. Uh, we had to get a replacement apron, but there it is. It's in. Um, nice and solid back here. I don't know if you can... I think you can see into the quarters pretty well. I'll try to get all the way in there. Just uh, very nice and solid in here. It's kind of dark. But it's a nice shape and it runs well. It's a huge, obviously just a used motor with some miles on it. I don't know how many, but it doesn't smoke and it's plenty of power. You know, it's punchy and tight. And you know, I was surprised at how good the suspension actually feels. Everything just feels good. You could totally drive it as is. Anyway, we'll be back with more in a few.